Hello everyone, hope all is well with you. Rabbi Rosen here with yet another snowy day here in Connecticut. And at the same time, of course, our hearts go forth to all throughout much of the country who are coping with significant loss of electricity and heat. It's a difficult challenge and we hope that you will prevail and that there will be a return of power and heat to you very, very soon. This week with the experience of Purim, we are facing a unique milestone on the Hebrew calendar. Purim last year was the holiday, the time in which we were last able to come together in large numbers in order to celebrate something in person. By the end of that week, we were in lockdown and ever since have been coping with a largely virtual experience in all of our lives. We find encouragement nonetheless in the experience of Purim and beginning really with what happens tomorrow. We have a special Torah reading on Shabbat Zachor, the Shabbat of memory, where we read of the evil deeds of a nation, Amalek, that sought to cause great harm to the Israelites going through the wilderness by attacking them in the back of the camp at the most vulnerable points in the entourage. The text of Torah there says, Asher karcha baderach, as you were coming forth into the wilderness, but it can also be read kar as in the sense of being cold that the Israelites' passion for being a part of God's people, a passion for going forward, was cooled by the experience of Amalek. They kind of forgot who they were, and this also is what made them vulnerable. So at this time, as we are all dealing with fatigue, fatigue of a plague that has gone on for a year, the experience of trying to get through yet another day that can sometimes be so very trying for us, for our children, for older adults amongst us, we all have to remember something very significant. The experience of Purim is the ability of the Jewish world to prevail over evil, to be proud as Jews as Mordechai and Esther are, to call out the evil deeds of a Haman who would wish us harm, to be able to laugh at all of the strange twists and turns of life, not because it is inherently funny, but because to laugh and to make fun of an experience, to have a bit of mockery and a bit of joy, is a way of showing how we go forth. There is strength and perseverance in being able to say, once again, we will be here and you will not get the last laugh, those who would cause us harm. At the end of the book of Esther, we have a beautiful declaration. Layudim hayata ora v'simcha v'sason v'kar. The Jews at, in Persia, in Shushan, at the end of the day, had light and joy and merriment and a sense of, of going forward with salvation, with deliverance, with redemption. Cain tihelanu is what we say in Havdalah when we quote that passage. So may it be for us. So let our passion, our strength, our commitment to going forth, to healing each other, to bolstering each other's spirits, to being with each other, to share a laugh, to say l'chaim to life over and over again. Never let that passion be cooled. And let us go forth as we conquer the evil disease that we face, the challenges of the time, so that we too, like the Jews of Shushan in Persia, might be able to say, we are here to live another day and many days after that. Shabbat Shalom.